Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me take the time out to thank all my new subscribers. Thank my old subscribers. Thanks the ones that are coming through. Y'all, I know I said over and over again, I am not going to talk about Coco Girl. But y'all, this right here is not just, it's not normal. And I'm going to tell y'all that much. It's not normal. I want you guys to watch the video and get back to me and tell me what you guys think. And I'm going to put or even just input what I think. Watch it. Get back to me. And please comment. The most things that I'm thinking about I, uh, is the shower. Yesterday I didn't get uh, as the chance to take a shower. I need, I need shower. Um, no problem anymore. Um, yeah, man, I just need to take shower in the river. I just need shower. I feel like my body is like sticky. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I don't know, the water not look so clean. So I wasn't on my way to the river, but uh, I was supposed to do reverse because the dark is coming, so I cannot be there alone. Yeah, it's so challenging, so challenging. I think I will come to take shower here. I don't have a choice. He is cool, brother. Thank you. It's very challenging. It's never happened to me that I need like that struggling to, to take a shower or search some place. Look what I choose. Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere, man. Middle of nowhere. So many men there. I just don't believe. But anyway, I don't want to go too deep because I don't want someone will catch me here. First things that we need to do. Yeah, man. Let me take all this from here. Yeah, this is the vibe. I don't believe that me, Hen, okay, release Coco, Hen, begging for people to charge the phone, to park, to get some Wi Fi. Me, me, if I don't have money in my life, I work one month and I buy. I, I, it's not my personality to ask from people. This is why I find it so challenging. To ask from people this, to ask from people that. So I'm like, I don't show people that I need a or that I need something. And yeah, I found it. I found it a challenge. <laughs> so cold. I told y'all I was waiting for y'all. 
What I want to know is, who is monitoring Jamaican websites? Who's monitoring? Now, this is serious for me. And the reason why I say that is because as a healthcare worker, as a clinician, I can identify what a mental breakdown looks like. This young lady has serious issues. Remind you, number one, she said she was dyslexic. Number two, she did say she was in the Israeli army for like two years. We don't know what her mental background is like. We don't know what she's been through. Now here she is having a meltdown in Jamaica because she cannot find a shower. Everyone knows that if you decide to do camping around any country, around any island, you have to now do your homework to know where you're gonna be, where you want to be, where you're gonna shower and all that type of stuff. You can't just get up and go to some random island, random country, rent a car and drive in hopes of getting somewhere. Now her complaint is that she can't shower at the river or bathe at the river because there's too much men there. These men live there. And then now you go to the ocean. Now you said the ocean is too dirty, you can't bathe there. So this chick went and got two big bottles of water. Before she even start, she said, oh, it's so much men here. She still proceed to shower there. Do you hear me? She showered there. And then now she's complaining that she can't believe that she has degraded herself to such things as begging people, I mean, to charge her phone and begging people to, to for, for free Wi-Fi. These are things that she can afford. And she was giving that guy at the automobile place, hell, the auto store or the auto parts store because he was giving her the cost for whatever is going to need to fix her tire. And she's saying, no, brother, and giving him half the price. The guy said, wherever you find that price, go and get it. But here is 6000 Guys, Jamaica, Jamaican mental health personnel, you guys need to watch these videos. Look for stuff like this. Did you guys see the other day the lady that had a mental breakdown in the airport on her way back from vacation, that doctor? Now here it is, this young lady is driving around Jamaica and getting frustrated by the day because she can't figure things out. She thought life would be easier. Jamaican people, Please, I am begging you guys, be watchful. Be watchful. We don't have mass shootings in Jamaica. We don't have that type of stuff. But it only takes one if everybody have their eyes closed. Now, please, y'all, be mindful. Be open-minded. Keep your eyes open. Because this stuff right here... Y'all, I see things differently. I may have people that disagree with me, but let me tell y'all something. Look at most of the mass shootings. I'm just saying. Now, my thing is when I visit different countries, when I go through immigration, before they even stamp my book, they want to know where I'm staying. What address am I staying and how long am I staying for? What address was given for this young lady? How come she didn't have to show proof of where she's going to be? This is what I want to know. Why is it that she's homeless? Why is it she's living in her car? Anyways, y'all, I'm just going to leave y'all that to think about. Because when we travel, <laughs> the, amount of, the amount of scrutiny we get. Anyways, y'all, thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for watching. 
I appreciate y'all. Continue, continue. I love y'all. Tony love y'all. Come back again. Many more to come.